kwanza kufanya kazi bwana asifiwe sana tafuta kitu ya kufanya ambie bwana akupatie ana idea let the lord give you some idea you go and work on that idea and the lord will bless it bwana asifiwe sana i was talking to another sister she was telling me eh hey, alikuwa ananiambia mimi ndio to hear your voice help us lord even as your holy spirit directs our steps we are so desperate for you jehovah we have looked east west north south we never found help the only help we can get is from you jesus that is why we just want to surrender to you we want to surrender to you totally so that you can rule and reign in our lives father you must have come for you to confess that I am weak and you are strong. Lord, I want to ask if you can use nothing to your own. This is the vessel before you. To your own. I have nothing on my own. I ask you, Lord, yet again, if you can use nothing to your own, this is the vessel. May you allow the blood of Jesus to saturate this place, my Father. Now your presence to bear in our hearts so that you may remain focused upon the Lord of God. This is the glory and honor and the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed. Hallelujah. Let us clap to the Lord. Let us clap to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let us be kati katika uoto wa Bwana. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana lisifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Amen. tunapokuja kwa ibada haujui nini tatendeka katikati ya wiki hujui kama utakuwa hai so i think it is wise to live like you don't need to see tomorrow hivyo nawazia ni vyema uishi kana kwamba hautaishi kesho and ni kwa nikiwazia kuhusu neno la bwana na neno lilikuwa linasema walikuja kwangu naye nikawaambia ondoka kwangu wewe mtenda mtenda maovu sikujui sikujui bwana yesu asifiwe kisha jambo lingine likapitia mawazo yangu kuna dini mingi sana na kila dini linaamini na kila dini wanaamini ya kwamba wao ndio wako na ukweli Nilikuwa nazungumza na mtu fulani ambao tunafanya naye kazi pamoja naye yuko uh, Afrika Kusini na sasa wako katika hiyo dini dini ya Jehovah Witness na nilipokuwa ninajaribu kumpersuade alikuwa ameshawishika kabisa na alikuwa ananiambia Lydia wajua niko namna hii alikuwa ananielezea kile ambacho wao wanaamini na nilikuwa nasema Bwana sijawahi kukuona mtu binafsi hakuna mtu amewahi kumuona Bwana pengine manabii wa kuu sana wa Bwana kwa kuwa wanaenda mbinguni lakini kile ambacho nasema ni hiki please lord help me je wakati mwingine unasimama una na kumuuliza bwana kusaidie ya kwamba kama kuna udanganyifu wote ndani yangu kama kuna chochote yenye sijui unisaidie ya kwamba niweze kuingia haleluya kwa sababu jambo mbaya zaidi ni kuamini ya kwamba unaenda mbinguni ili tu wakati tunapofika katika lango 
Nae Bwana anakuambia ondoka kwangu sikujui. Because you know that moment now is a point of no return. I mean there is no there is nothing else you can do. Kwa sababu najua wakati huo ni nimefikia mwisho. Hakuna hakuna kubadilisha chochote. And you just said you that is where you belong. Na atakwambia tu huko ndipo wewe unastahili kuwa. It is very scary. Ni kutisha sana. Going to heaven is not a joke. Kwenda mbinguni sio mchezo. And then the worst thing it is hidden to all of us. Alafu jambo la kutisha ni kwamba imefichika kwetu sote. You don't know. Haujui. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we can never I think that is why we are now we will see that we can never judge anybody. Hivyo hapo ndivyo tunaweza sema kwamba hauwezi kumhukumu mtu. Because as the Bible says judgment belongs to the Lord. Kwa sababu jinsi ambavyo Biblia inasema hukumu ni ya Bwana. But anyhow, lakini hata hivyo the word neno. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Lord has been ministering to us in the book of Uh, Revelation chapter 3 Hivyo Bwana amekuwa akinena nasi katika kitabu cha Ufunuo sura ya 3 Now talking about the church in Philadelphia Kunena kuhusu kanisa la Philadelphia So the Lord is saying unto the angel of the church in Philadelphia right This thing says he who is holy who is true he who has the key of David he who opens and no one shuts and shuts and no one to open i know your works see i have said before you an open door and no one can shut it so you have a little strength have kept the, my word and have not denied my name indeed i will make those of the synagogues of satan who say they are jews and they are not but lie Indeed I will make them come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved you because you have kept my commandment to persevere I will also keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth behold I am coming quickly hold fast what you have Biblia inasema kwenye kitabu cha Ufunuo wa Yohana sura ya tatu kuanzia mstari wa saba kwa malaika wa kanisa lililoko Philadelphia andika haya ndio maneno yake yeye aliye mtakatifu na wa kweli yeye aliye na ufunguo wa Daudi anachokifungua hakuna awezaye kukifunga wala anachokifunga hakuna awezaye kukifungua na yajua matendo yako tazama nime, nimeweka mbele yako mlango uliofunguliwa wala hakuna awezaye kuufunga ninajua kwamba una nguvu kidogo lakini umelishika neno langu wala hukulikana jina langu Ni, nitawafanya wale wa sinagogi la shetani wale ambao husema kuwa ni wayahudi lakini sio bali ni waongo nitawafanya waje wapige magoti miguuni pako na wakiri ya kwamba nimekupenda kwa kuwa umeshika amri yangu na kuvumilia na kuvumilia katika saburi nitakulinda katika saa ya kujaribiwa inayokuja ulimwenguni pote ili kuwa ili kuwajaribu wa, wote wakao duniani Ninakuja upesi shika sana ulichonacho ile mtu asije akaichukua taji yako. Haleluya. Haleluya. The Lord ta- talking to the church in Philadelphia. Bwana akinena na kanisa la Philadelphia. This is the model of the church that the Lord is preparing for entry into eternity. Na hii ndio muundo wa kanisa ambayo Bwana anaiandaa ana kuingia katika so umilele hivyo tunaona sifa za kanisa hili kanisa alikupenda uhai wake hadi kufikia kufa kwa sababu tunaona kwenye kitabu cha ufunuo wa Yohana sura ya kumi na mbili ya kwamba kuna ushuhuda ya kwamba hawakupenda maisha yao hata kwa kufikia kifo and here now he saying that i i have seen the way those who 
they profess to be Jews, yet they are Gentiles. In other words, they profess to say they are born again, and yet they are not born again. Na hapa pia katika neno la Bwana anasema ya kwamba wanasema ya kwamba wao ni Wayahudi ili hali wao ni ni watu mataifa. Wanasema ya kwamba wameokoka ili hali matendo yao ailingani na wokovu. These last days I see the struggle. Like we have been told time and time again there are two churches Tumeambiwa mara mingi sana ya kwamba kuna kanisa mara mbili And the two churches are operating together Na makanisa hayo mawili yanatenda kazi pamoja There is the church that is not being led by the Holy Spirit Kuna lo kanisa ambalo haliliongozwi kwa Roho kwa Roho Mtakatifu The church that is led by the Holy Spirit operates in the freedom to worship. Kanisa ambalo linaongozwa na Roho Mtakatifu linatenda kazi katika huru wa kuabudu. Wacha nikajieleze vyema. If you walk in the Holy Spirit, ikiwa utatembea katika Roho Mtakatifu, walk before the Lord in freedom. Unatembea mbele za Bwana katika huru. But this is not freedom to sin. Lakini sio huru wa wa dhambi. Hallelujah church. Hallelujah kanisa. Freedom to serve the Lord. Huru wa kumtumikia Bwana. Every time the Holy Spirit is directing you to do. Na kila mara Roho Mtakatifu wa Mungu anakuongoza kile cha kutenda. Anasema kwenye kitabu cha Isaiah sura ya 30 mstari wa 8 ya kwamba hii ndio njia usiende upande wa kushoto wala kulia tembea ukielekea mbele. This church is not operated by hii kanisa haiongozwi na fanya hili usifanye lile. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu kuna kanisa tuenda tukawa katika kanisa moja. Kuna wengine wamefungwa sana na usifanye hili usifanye lile. Mbele za Bwana tunaongozwa na utawala wa Roho Mtakatifu. Unapomsikiza kuna wakati atakwambia kuna wakati kuna watu baadhi yao wanafikiria kwamba kwa kuwa tunafunga vilemba tuko katika mfungo fulani hivyo kujionyesha kwako kwa mara ya kwanza ni muhimu sana yeye ni bwana Ana, anajua kila kitu kuhusu kila mtu anapenda kila mtu wenye dhambi wa Islamu kila mtu hivyo ikiwa kuna mtu angependa kuokoa Wenda pengine unataka kumwokoa Saida na unampenda Bwana sana na anakuongelesha. Ikiwa atakwambia uvai buibui kwa niaba ya Saida lakini kwa yoyote yule atakutana na wewe kwa njia siku hiyo wataenda na ushuhuda Askofu Lydia alianguka mpaka siku hizi anavaa buibui ili hali niko na ajenda Roho wa Mungu ameninenea 
target. Wenda hata nisielewe kile ambacho roho wa Bwana anataka hadi nifike pale ambapo anataka niende. Aniambia anza kazi. Nitanena kupitia kwako. Na kwa sababu na Na kwa sababu anajua kile ambacho anataka kwa kwa yule mtu. Atahudumu kupitia kwako mpaka yule mtu atapata wokovu. Na pale mbinguni kutakuwa na sherehe mingi sana ilhali duniani kutakuwa na kuhukumiwa kwingi pia. Kutembea katika roho wa Bwana sio rahisi. Kwa sababu kila mara anaenda katika njia badala na mwanadamu. Na, na ndio maana Isaya kwa miaka tatu na nusu alitembea uchi. Kila mtu alisema alisema yeye ni mtu wa Mungu. Lakini sasa mnaweza ona huyu mtu kichwa chake kiko sawa. Kichwa kimeruka. Mungu alitupatia hekima. Hallelujah. 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 Je, tuko pamoja? Njia za roho wa Mungu ziko kinyume na njia za wanadamu. Lakini hapo ndani kuna uzima wa milele. Wale wengi wanaoongozwa na Roho Mtakatifu wa Yahweh wao ni watoto wa Mungu. Na hili kanisa la Philadelphia it has grown. Imekuwa. She has grown to the extent that she just listens to the Holy Spirit. Amekuwa kiasi kwamba anasikiza tu Roho Mtakatifu. Ili mradi tu Bwana amenena. Hawajali. Hawajali. Hawajali mtu ananena nini kuwahusu. Hata hawataki kusikia. That is you see the Matthew's prophets. And whatever they are promised to do, they will not na ndio maana unaona manabii wa Bwana wanapoamua kufanya jambo hawatajali nani anasema nini kuwahusu wanataka tu kujali kuhusu ni wapi ambapo Bwana ametutuma wataenda tu Bwana anasema enda kusini kule na ukemee Uislamu naye ataenda tu na akemee Uislamu na je kuhusu sisi not about us je kuhusu sisi jambo la kwanza unataka kuwazia ni nini ambacho watu watasema kuniuhusu watawaza kuniuhusu kufanya mapenzi ya baba is not easy sio rahisi only takes the lord inahitaji tu bwana na hivyo anasema kwa sababu umelitii neno langu kuvumilia i will also preserve you nami nitakuhifadhi i will keep you nitakuhifadhi kutoka saa ya kujaribiwa ambayo inakuja ulimwenguni jambo moja ambalo linanitia nguvu ikiwa bwana amenena haijalishi ni wengi wengi kiasi gani wako dhidi yako ikiwa utasimama na bwana basi atahukumu kila mtu aliyenena dhidi yako haleluya cha kuhifadhi kutokana na saa ya kujaribiwa ambayo inakuja ulimwenguni Alafu anasema makinika japokuwa taji lako likaondolewa toka kwako so Hivyo hata baada ya kusimama na Bwana Uh, ni lazima ungangane na uhakikishe kwamba umesimama na ukabaki katika njia kuu ya utakatifu. Kwenye kitabu cha Waefeso sura ya sita kunena kuhusu vita vya kiroho. Uh, Baada Paulo kunena kuhusu kufunikwa na na na, na, na la, vazi la, la Mungu vazi la vita anasema he say 
Anasema, having done all, after you have fought the battle and won, ba- make sure that you stand. Baada umepigana vita na ukashinda, hakikisha kwamba umesimama. Let me tell you, church, the last moment for any Christian. Wacha niwaambie kanisa saa mbaya kabisa kwa kila Mkristo. Mighty, mighty victory. Ni, ni baada ya ushindi mkuu mkuu sana. Because after a mighty victory. Ba, kwa sababu baada ya ushindi mkuu. This is where most of us Christians we relax. Hapo ndipo sisi wa Kristo wengi huwa tuna, tunatulia. Na tunabaki katika utukufu wa jana. Tunanena kuhusu utukufu wa jana. Lakini adui anapanga kuanguka kwako leo. Are you ready for today's battle? Je, uko tayari kwa Ukisahau kuhusu jana. Ushindi wa jana. Na kujitiisha na kusimama na agano la Mungu na kuhakikisha kwamba umesimama. Hakikisha kwamba umesimama imara. Ukihakikisha kwamba umeweka ile ushuhuda. When we look at after most of this may big 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 meetings that is when most Christians fall back. Wakati unaangalia baada ya hizi mikutano kubwa sana hapo ndipo wakristo wengi sana huwa wanaanguka. Most Christians they even coming to the altar is a problem. Hapo ndipo baada call them and remind them. Wakristo wengi hata wanapata wanapata tabu atakuja kwa madhabahu. That fire is In, just Inabidi wapigie simu wakumbushe kwamba Jumamosi tunakuwa na kitu fulani katika madhabahu so ile moto inapata kuzimia. Victory, Kila mara unapokuwa na ushindi mkuu. Huwa tu ni jambo njema. Sure Kwenda mbele za Bwana kwa katika unyenyekevu. Nyenyekea na uingie katika toba. Ambia Bwana ondoe kila kiburi ya maisha. Ondoa kila kitu ambacho kinafanya ujiamini wewe mwenyewe. Say, oh, you know me. Watu wengine wanasema unajua mimi. I am waiting upon the Lord. I, I really wait upon the Lord. You know. The Lord speaks to me. Mimi ninamgojea Bwana. Bwana hunena nami. Bwana hunionyesha vitu. That is very good. Hiyo ni bora kabisa. Lakini ensure hakikisha that you are humbling yourself before the Lord all the time. Ya kwamba unajinyenyekeza mbele za Bwana kila wakati. Remaining in his presence. Ukibaki uweponi mwake. Look at the life of David. Tazama maisha ya Daudi. Kila mara Bwana alipompatia ushindi. At no point did David behave like he knew how to go against the enemy. Lakini hakuna wakati ambapo Daudi alijendeleza kana kwamba alijua jinsi ya kuendea adui yake. Ye yeah, alijua tu mahali ambapo nguvu zake zilitoka. Na kila mara angeenda kwa Nabii Samuel. Na angemuuliza je tuwafuate? Kila mara kiangalia Bwana. Je kila mara waangalia wa kila kitu unafanya nda Bwana? Je unamuuliza nitafanya hiki? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yeye nitafanya hiki. Yeye nitafuata hii. Oh you just see what others have done and you see they are shining and you are like even me I'm going to do it. Amu unaona tu wengine wamefanya na unaona wanangara unasema pia mimi nitakifanya. Haleluya. Bwana jina la Bwana lisifiwe. Ikiwa Bwana ako nyuma ya kitu. That you accomplish it and you accomplish it in style. Kila mara atahakikisha kwamba umeidhibitisha na katika njia ya mtindo fulani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Lord is a God of order. Hivyo Bwana ni Bwana wa mpangilio. And he's talking to us about this church that he has loved. Na Bwana Na Bwana ananena nasi kuhusu ile kanisa alilolipenda, kanisa ambalo linaingia. And the Lord is talking to us about the opposition that will come. Na Bwana ananena kuhusu ile kukata vita ambayo itakuja. The persecutions. Mateso. The trials. Majaribu. We must always depend on the Lord. Kila mara lazima tumtegemee Bwana. Na Bwana kwa kimaksudi. You know I I have been I always get amazed by the way the, the 
kwa sababu kama vile walikuwa wananenea kuhusu matetemeko ya ardhi kote kote duniani walikuwa wanasema inabidi tuwatingize ili kwamba ukapoteze imani katika dunia and according to them na kulingana nao wanapoleta tetemeko la ardhi hapa Mombasa It is better to have 5000 die in their sin. Ni vyema upate 5000 wafe katika dhambi zao. Now make 20000 to receive Jesus. Lakini sababisha watu the Lord and receive Jesus. Lakini sababisha watu 2020 wapokee Yesu na wamuogope Yesu. Are we together? Je, tuko pamoja? So every time you see an earthquake that is God's love. Hivyo kila mara unapoona tetemeko la ardhi hiyo ni upendo wa Mungu. And come out of their evils. Anatingiza watu ku, ili akawaondoe kutoka na na uovu wao na sasa wakaeke tumaini lao kwake na kila mara unapoona hiyo tetemeko la ardhi katika maisha yako ikitingiza fedha zako ikitingiza kazi yako bwana anakuambia eka tumaini lako kwangu Again I want to go back to Psalms 91. Tena ningependa kwenda katika Zaburi where the Lord is saying because he has loved me. Zaburi 91 Biblia mahali ambapo Bwana anasema kwa sababu umenipenda. Psalms 91. I'm talking about we are talking about the church that is yet to enter. Tunaongea kuhusu kanisa ambalo linajiandaa kuingia. Yeah, this is because he has set his love upon me. And for most of us one he says he who dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Lord he is my refuge my fortress my God in him will I trust Kitabu cha Zaburi sura 91 mstari wa kwanza na wa pili Biblia inasema yeye akae mahali pa salama pake yeye aliye juu sana atadumu katika uvuli wake mwenyezi nitasema kumuhusu bwana yeye ndiye kimbilio langu na ngome yangu mungu wangu ambaye ninamtumainia unapoweka tumaini lako kwa bwana kuna kitu kinachokuja ndani yako imani ndani yake tumaini ya kwake always make you know that as long as you with me ambayo kila mara itakusababisha ujue ya kwamba mradi tu yuko pamoja you know nami under the shadow of the almighty unajua uko chini uvuli ya Mwenyezi Mungu na sasa unajua kwamba yeye ndio kimbilio lako yeye ndio ngome yako yeye ndio msaada wako wakati wa shida that is where you see Shadrach Meshach and Abednego and you posa unaona Shadrach Meshach na Abednego threatened with fire walikuwa wametishiwa na moto lakini wako hapo wametulia tu wanajua kuna kitu zaidi ya zaidi ya kifo wanajua hata Mungu tunayemwabudu ako na uwezo wa kutuokoa na hata kama hata tuokoa wacha ijulikane kwenu ya kwamba hatuwezi kumpigia magoti mwingine hivyo hata kwa kwa wewe ambaye umeweka tumaini lako kwa Bwana haijalishi ni wengi wangapi walio dhidi yako ili mradi tu bwana yuko pamoja nawe au tatingizwa na kile ambacho wanadamu watapanga dhidi yako haleluya tumaini lako liko ndani yake Roho mtakatifu wa Mungu ndani yako atakuonyesha uone kitu zaidi ya kile ambacho wanadamu wanapanga dhidi yako. Hivyo ndio maana maana walipokuwa nampiga mawe Stefano. Hakuona zile mawe. But he saw Jesus 
seated on the throne. Lakini alimwona Yesu akiwa ameketi enzini. And I can imagine he, he was not even thinking about the death that he was going to pass through. Na alikuwa na wazia hakuwa na waza hata kuhusu kifo ambacho alikuwa aipitia. He was already thinking about life in the glory land. Lakini sasa yeye alikuwa na waza kuhusu maisha katika utukufu. Please cast those stones very quickly. And na, you know, na alikuwa anasema so tafadhali mgerushe hizo mawe haraka ili niweze nife niende mahali ambapo ninapaswa kuwa kanisa ambalo linaingia sasa kanisa hili linajua ipo sura ya 20 sura sura ya 3 mstari wa 20 21 the bible says that we are nothing but complements in this in this earth na Biblia inasema ya kwamba sisi si kitu bali ni wasafiri tu katika ulimwengu huu. For our citizenship is in heaven, and we also eagerly wait for the savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly bodies that it may be conformed to his glorious body according to the working by which he is able to subdue all things to himself. Hallelujah church. Biblia inasema kwenye kitabu cha Wafilipi sura ya tatu mstari wa ishirini lakini wenyeji lakini wenyeji wetu uko binguni nasi tunamgoja kwa shauku mwokozi kutoka huko yani Bwana Yesu Kristo Haleluya Haleluya They are looking for something else they know they don't belong here wanalitazamia wana jambo lingine wao wanajua sio wa hapa They know this is not their home wanajua hapa sio nyumbani kwao Heaven is where those who have trust in the Lord they are waiting for Bingu ni mahali ambapo wale ambao wamemtumainia Bwana wanatazamia kuwa In the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 10 Kwenye kitabu cha Waibrania sura 11 mstari wa 10 He say for he waited for a city which has foundation builder and maker is God Bwana asifiwe sana He was looking for a city and yourself you know that this is not where you belong i was talking to my my friend who is just more than a sister to me and she say really i am really getting so homesick na alikuwa anasema ninatamani tu kwenda nyumbani to be out of this earth ninatamani tu kuondoka kutoka katika ulimwengu huu mtu ambaye anasema hiyo ni mtu ambaye tayari amebarikiwa na nilikuwa nasema kwa hakika wale ambao wamebatizwa na roho mtakatifu hawaoni maana tena ya hii dunia na nikasema kwamba bwana na nikasema kwa hakika bwana kuna jambo ambayo umetenda katika moyo ya wale ambao wamekutumainia kwa sababu huyu ni mtu ambaye akona moja wapo ya gari mzuri zaidi akona vitu vyema katika hii ulimwengu lakini moyo wake haiko tena katika hii dunia so it's just like Paul you saying everything i have ever considered worthy in this life now i consider it as done na kama no and glorify jesus that i may know the lord and the power of his resurrection ni kama vile wakati Paulo alikuwa anasema kila kitu ambacho niliona cha muhimu katika ulimwengu ninaiona sasa kama mavi ya kwamba nikapate kuurithi ufalme wa mbinguni. Haleluya kanisa. We have reached at a place where we need now to seek the things of eternity. Tumefikia mahali ambapo sasa unahitaji kutafuta vitu vya umilele. Nothing in this life that is permanent. Ukijua vyema kabisa kwamba hakuna kitu katika ulimwengu ambayo inadumu milele. Look 
of the life of the queen has cast on and now the family is in chaos tazama maisha malkia malkia tayari ameaga lakini familia tayari iko na vita vitu vimebadilika tuko hapa kwa majira fulani tu na ndio maana inabidi tuchukue muda kisawasawa tuojiandae kwa ajili ya umilele wetu for the many opportunities that you lost. Hatutawahi helewa mambo haya hadi wakati tutakapoingia mbinguni ambapo utajutia sana kwa, kwa wakati ambacho kwa wakati ambapo ulipoteza katika ulimwengu huu. When you you see when you, you lost the opportunity of getting a star. Wakati ambapo an opportunity to go and witness to somebody Waka- and the Lord is telling you, you see this person here if you had gone that day if you had created time to go and minister to this person this is the star that went to the one who obeyed and they, they now have that star this star was supposed to be your star but now because you never obeyed that day it went to somebody else who obeyed and this is the star that should have been yours no Bwana atakuonyesha ya kwamba hiyo siku ungelitii ungepata hii nyota lakini kwa kuwa haukutii hili nyota lilienda kwa yule ambaye alitii Je tuko pamoja Because on that day of judgment the Bible says everyone shall give an account of everything that you ever did in this life Kwa sababu Biblia inasema ya kwamba katika siku ya hukumu kila mmoja atatoa hesabu ya kila kitu ambacho aliwahi tenda katika ulimwengu huu So even Abraham Ivo hata Abraham so rich Abraham alikuwa tajiri sana alikuwa na zaidi ya wafanyakazi 1300 kuwa na idadi kubwa namna hiyo ya wafanyakazi ni lazima alikuwa na mali mingi sana ili kwamba hao wafanyakazi wote walikuwa na kazi ya kufanya lakini lakini sasa unaona lakini sasa unaona anasema ye ana tazamia mji ambayo ambayo uh, msingi wake na ujenzi wake ni Mungu so many of us are wishing oh i wish i could go to new york i wish i could go to uk to go to cities which have been built by the hands of men. Wengi wetu tunatamani kwenda Marekani, kwenda nchi za nje. Tunatamani kwenda katika nchi ambazo zimejengwa na mikono ya wanadamu. Lakini kuna mji. This is not built by human hands. Ambayo haijajengwa kwa mikono ya wanadamu. Miji ambayo that you and I have never ever shared in. You don't you don't have anything made of gold in your house. Mm. Yes, pale tunaenda, pale utakuwa na kanyaga, kumejengwa na nini? Kumejengwa na dhahabu. Sasa, hekima ni kufanya nini? Ni kujitahidi kuingia katika that city. Hallelujah. Hekima ni kujiandaa kuingia katika hiyo miji. Because now when you get there, all the things you have ever aspired in. Kwa sababu unapofika pale, kila kitu ambacho umewahi tamani katika dunia. You get them and you get them free of charge. Unazipata na unazipata bure kabisa. Bure bila malipo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You get garments that are pure white. Unapata mavazi ambayo ni nyeupe sawa sawa ya kupendeza. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You get a mansion. Unapata jumba. We have ever dreamed of owning homes. Je, tume, tume ota na tumetamani kuwa na vyumba. Lakini hii unapata bure na Bwana anakupatia funguo. Anakuambia mtumishi mwaminifu, hii ndio nyumba yako. Hakuna mtu anakuuliza. Unaweza kuingia katika jumba lako wakati wowote. Sio zile jumba zetu ambazo zimejengwa zikiwa na natamani kuwa katika kile mji ambayo haijajengwa kwa mikono ya wanadamu. Lakini kuna 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 isa, Kuna gharama. Lakini inastahili hata kama inabidi upoteze mwili wako kwa ajili ya Bwana kwenda mbinguni ni adhamana sana 
kwamba hata kama huyu binti wangu ikiwa angeenda nyumbani leo hata hata ingia na uo uwete hata ingia na uo uwete akienda atapata mwili mwingine ambao umekuwa glorified atapata mwili ambao umetukuzwa na miguu yake itakuwa imenyoka na atakuwa anatembea kawaida na atakuwa na mwili uliotukuzwa kwa hivyo kwa hakika inabidi tutamani sana kuwa katika hii mji ya Bwana lakini unapokuja kwa ili kanisa lingine kanisa ambalo ni vuguvugu sana na Bwana ana neno kwa ajili ya hilo kanisa I know your works that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm, neither cold nor hot. I will vomit you out of my mouth. Because you say I am rich, I have become wealthy and need of nothing. And do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. kitabu cha kitabu cha Yohana Yohana ufunuo wa Yohana mstari sura ya tatu kuanzia mstari wa 14 hadi 17 Biblia inasema kwa malaika wa kanisa lililoko Laodokia andika haya ndio maneno yake yeye aliye amen 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 shahidi mwaminifu wa kweli mtawala wa umbaji wote wa Mungu na yajua matendo yako ya kwamba wewe si baridi wala si moto afadhali ungelikuwa moja au lingine hivyo kwa kuwa huu vuguvugu si baridi wala moto nitakutapika utoke kinywani mwangu kwa maana unasema mi... haleluya kwa maana unasema mimi ni tajiri nimejilimbikizia mali wala sihitaji kitu chochote, chochote lakini uta, utambui ya kwamba wewe ni mnyonge wa kuhurumiwa maskini kipofu tena ulie uchi haleluya kanisa la laudokia kanisa ambayo hakuna mmoja wetu anaweza tamani kuwa hilo kanisa kanisa ambalo linahisi kwamba ni sawa kanisa ambalo halitamani chochote mradi tu vitu vya Mungu zinahusika They just come to church. Wanakuja tu kanisani. Hawana mzigo kwa ajili ya kitu yoyote. Matangazo yanafanyika katika nyumba ya Bwana. Hata hivyo matangazo yanapopeanwa akili zao ziko mbali sana. Kwa sababu wanajihisi ya kwamba hii hainihusu popote. Kwenda kutembea kule katika ufuo wa bahari ni nani anaweza kuenda kutembea katika ufuo wa bahari kutembea Hiyo ndio wakati ambapo wanazurura tu katika mji unapata tu wamezuba wakiangalia angalia vitu na kutamani hawana lengo bwana yesu asifiwe hawajui wala hata hawana ile nia wanasema tu ili mradi mimi nimeokoka mimi naenda mbinguni mbingu hauwezi kwenda namna hiyo rafiki yangu amka amka anza kufanyia kazi umilele wako kuja tu katika kanisa jumapili haitoshi jaribu ufanye kitu 
quality. This is the computer era. Aya ni majira ya Haya ni majira ya maendeleo ikiwa unataka kumtumikia Bwana unaweza kufanya hivyo Unaweza fanya kila kitu na chochote Bwana Yesu asifiwe Somebody by this name will come and collect that package. Ikiwa ningependa kusimama na mtu yule ako kule Meru naenda tu pale Naivas na nanunua kitu kisha namtumia. Umbali sio kitu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You can encounter somebody on your phone. Unaweza muhimiza mtu kupitia simu yako kwa ujumbe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can do follow up. Unaweza kufuatizia. And encourage people. Na kuhimiza mtu. Tell them Jesus is coming. Mwambie Yesu anarudi. Tell them I I want to give you a scripture you read I'll check in the evening whether you have read it. Mwambie ningependa kukupatia andiko usome nitaangalia jioni. Mpigie mtu simu kaombe na yeye. Pray with them. Omba pamoja na yeye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Share a worship song. Shiriki ibada ya, ya wimbo. Lakini usinajisi mioyo ya watu. Usimpigie mtu simu kumnajisi kumwambia kila neno ambayo umewahi kunena. Utatoa hesabu yake. Na usiwe mtu wa kusambaza uongo Ile matapishi ambayo mtu ametema wewe unaichota una, 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 unapaka kwa wengine. Kanisa la Leodokia halina hisia. Liko vugu vugu. You know it is very easy. Najua ni rahisi sana. Can you talk church? Ndio tunaweza zungumza kanisa. The, the Lukum church in Lile, Madabau. Lile kanisa vugu vugu katika madhabahu yoyote. Kama kungekuwa na wa, na waislamu wangependa kuchinja wakristo nyali, ingekuwa ni rahisi sana. They will come to church for one two Sundays. Kwa sababu wangekuja kanisa kwa Jumapili moja mbili and they will seek to know who are inactive christians na wangependa kujua enough. wale wa kristo ambao wako vugu vugu na hiyo inatosha na wangempigia simu na waambie fulani wa fulani je ungependa kuendesha gari mzuri alafu atasema ndio atakwambia ni rahisi sana tunataka wewe ukaeke mtego atamwambia tunataka wewe utuletea oh, askofu wako alafu atauliza je unataka milioni kumi ndio nataka milioni kumi basi hiyo ni rahisi tumwambia basi hiyo ni ngumu haiwezekani kisha atauliza basi nifanye nifanyeje jifanye tu huko mgonjwa sana muulize askofu aje nyumbani kwako mwambie unahitaji tu maombi yake na hivyo hiyo anamwambia mara tu umefanya hivyo basi milioni kanisa ina, ina milioni kumi inaingia katika kaunti yako kanisa vugu vugu halitamani kumtumikia bwana wanaisi akana kana kwamba wako na kila kitu wako na kila kitu a job and need a job they are coming to the altar all the time they seek prayers meaning the moment the job comes they getting that person to the altar becomes a nightmare 
je umekutana na mtu ambaye wakati hana kazi anakuja kwa madhabahu analilia Mungu e Mungu nisaidie na kazi Mungu nipe kazi na wakati Bwana anapombariki na kazi ole wako huyo mtu utamuona tena kwa madhabahu mtu huyo huyo ambaye hakuwahi kosa kesha yoyote ndio huyo ndio huyo ambaye sasa hata hata pata nafasi ya kuja kwa ibada ya Bwana kwa sababu wanaisi ya kwamba wako na kila kitu jina la Bwana lisifiwe wanapotaka kwenda mjini dereva yuko pale anawapeleka anawanunua ananunua kila kitu anayotaka awakae njaa wako na kila kitu ambayo wanahitaji na sisemi ya kwamba kila mmoja mmoja ambaye amebarikiwa kila 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 yote yule ambaye ninatembea kwa roho wa Bwana akona akona discipline na ndio maana ni muhimu sana kujazwa na Roho Mtakatifu wa Mungu kwa sababu naelewa ya kwamba haya mambo ni ya muda tu kwenye kitabu cha Warumi sura ya 4 mstari wa 17 kitabu cha Warumi sura ya nane mstari wa 18 na hesabu mateso yetu ya wakati huu kuwa si kitu kulinganisha na utukufu utakaodhihirishwa kwetu affliction which is but for a moment is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory while we do not look at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal but things which are not seen they are eternal kitabu cha wa Korinto wa pili sura ya 4 kuanzia mstari wa 17 Biblia inasema kwa maana dhiki yetu nyepesi iliyo ya kitambo inatutayarisha kwa ajili ya utukufu wa milele unaozidi kuwa mwingi kupita kiasi kwa sababu hatuangalii yale yanayoweza kuonekana bali yale yale yasiyoweza kuonekana kwa maana yale yanayoweza kuonekana ni ya kitambo tu bali yale yasiyoweza kuonekana ni ya milele hivyo kanisa la Philadelphia wao ni wenye hekima sana hawaribu wakati na vitu vya muda wanajua kwamba majina ni ya muda haijalishi ni aina gani ya jina ambayo wamekupa hiyo jina ni ya muda tu hata hata rais rais anaweza tu kufanya kazi kwa 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 tamu mara mbili so that title of presidency can only be valid for at most two terms hiyo kwa hivyo hiyo jina ya urais iko iko tu na halali wake kwa kwa miaka mingi na hivyo ndivyo ilivyo fupi hiyo hiyo jina yake Haleluya kanisa. Vitu vya ulimwengu huu ni wa muda mchache tu. Haijalishi utukufu inayoizunguka bali tu ni ya muda. Lakini vitu vya milele hazionekani. Haleluya. Hazionekani ili hali. Zinadumu milele. And the Bible is saying 
na Biblia inasema hii kanisa vuguvugu laiti gani ungekuwa baridi au moto lakini kwa sababu wewe si mmoja wa wengine wao ni wapumbavu ya kwamba hawaelewi ya kwamba vitu hivi ni ya muda ninaenda kukutema nje kwa moto kanisa vuguvugu kanisa ambalo halina hisia kwa ajili ya Bwana hawajui ni wakati gani wa kuomba hawajui ni wakati gani wa kusoma neno hawajui ni wakati gani wa kumtumikia Bwana inabidi wasikumwe kila ma, kila mara haleluya kumtumikia Bwana lazima ilete furaha mingi sana kwetu ya kwamba tunatamani kumtumikia Bwana unaweza kuona wale vijana ambao wako katika wale vijana ambao wako chini ya utendakazi wa Roho Mtakatifu unasikia kila mara asubuhi wanafanya kazi asubuhi na mapema wako pale wanahudumu tu neno kuu kiasi gani hiyo ndiyo njia bora zaidi ya kuonyesha umaarifa wako kumtumikia bwana katika katika njia kuu haleluya kanisa kanisa hili lazima tutamani kujazwa na roho mtakatifu Je, una tamaa ya kujazwa na Roho Mtakatifu? Kwa sababu Roho wa Bwana anakupa sababu ya kutumika. Roho Mtakatifu anakusukuma. Anakusukuma uamke mapema. Wakati ni Jumapili. Roho Mtakatifu anakusumbua. Anakuambia pana, inabidi usimame. Inabidi uamke uombe. Inabidi ufanye hiki. Na wakati mwingine unafanya una kazi. Lakini roho wa Bwana anakusukuma. Anakuambia pigia mtu fulani. Pigia mtu fulani ukamtie moyo. Fanya hiki. Ni ya kupendeza kufanya kazi chini ya chini ya utendakazi wa Roho Mtakatifu. Haleluya kanisa. Lakini kanisa lisilo na roho wa Bwana inafanya kazi kwa uchungu mwingi inakuwa ya kuchosha sana haleluya nilishangazwa sana wakati tunatembea kutoka kenol tunazunguka na hakuna mmoja wetu hakuna mtu ambaye alichoka na tulipofika hapa tulikuwa na furaha sana tulikuwa tumefurahi tunasema wao tulikuwa tumeuishwa katika nguvu zetu tulihisi furaha ya kumtumikia bwana haleluya unapomtumikia bwana kwa, kwa msaada wa Roho Mtakatifu anaweka furaha ndani yako na unatamani baada nyingine inafuata unatamani ya kwamba light gun tungefanya hivyo tena light gun tungeenda nje tena Bwana Yesu asifiwe na hivyo ndivyo unapata upako wako au upati upako kwa kuchukua vitambaa vya watu upako unapa, unafanyia kazi unapata je tuko pamoja lazima ufanyie kazi upako wako lakini kwa bahati mbaya kupoteza upako ndiyo kitu rahisi kabisa kwa sababu unapofanya jambo moja tu unapokosa kumtii bwana hiyo upako inaondoka Bwana anasema Afadhali ukue wa faida kwa shetani ama uwe wa faida kwangu kwa kuwa moto lakini kwa Mkristo ambaye ni vuguvugu cycle is like this 
wow. they are very high the spirit tomorrow they are just down the drains wakati mmoja wako juu katika roho wakati mwingine wameshuka chini kabisa so you have to serve the tomorrow you have to really ignite them you have to inject them with i don't know what i drink wakati mmoja wanatamani wamfanyie bwana kazi wakati mwingine inabidi tu uwaskume uwaskume kabisa ili wakaweze kufanyia bwana kazi wanasema wameokoka unajua biblia inasema kwamba wako na aina ya uungu lakini wanakataa nguvu zilizomo kuwa mkristo vuguvugu ni laana kwa sababu hapo ndipo bwana anachukizwa bwana anachukizwa na mkristo aliyevuguvugu afadhali ufanye kitu kingine lakini usifanye mungu kukuwa adui yako that is why he says in the book of Hebrews chapter 10 that he wants na ndio maana na ndio maana anasema kwenye kitabu cha Ibrania sura ya kumi mstari wa 31 to fall into the hands of the almighty in judgment la kwamba ya kwamba ni jambo la kutisha kuanguka katika mkono wa bwana kwa hukumu Why is the Lord judging nations? Ni kwa nini Bwana anahukumu mataifa? Why is the Lord judging even the church? Ni kwa nini Bwana anahukumu hata kanisa? Ni kwa sababu Ni kwa sababu alikosa kutii sauti ya Bwana. Watu wa toba na utakatifu. Watu wa toba na utakatifu. Wengine wa kila siku. Usiende hivi. This is the way. Walk in this way. Hii ndio njia. Tembea katika njia njia hii. Wanatoka katika hiyo njia wanaingia katika matope. Je, unafikiri utatoroka hukumu ya Mungu? When the Lord Jehovah himself is the one giving you the counsel. Wakati Bwana Jehovah mwenyewe ndiye anakupa ushauri kupitia manabii wake. Na hata hutaki kusikia. Hii ni ya nyeti sana. Bwana ananena na wewe kupitia manabii wake wakuu sana. Na hata huisi kutamani kuja siku ya Jumamosi kufanya 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 uhamasisho. Are we pamoja. Na ili hali kule nje watu wamefurahi watu wanasema wanaenda kutafuta wagonjwa unaposikiza katika redio Kila mara ninaposikia redio ninasema kwamba oh bwana sijawahi kukutumikia Redio huwa inanisababisha kutenda mambo ambayo sikuwahi kusudia kufanya Jeye za kuwa ya kwamba tunarudi nyuma Tunaingia katika mwanguko wa imani Kwa sababu baadhi yetu hata tusikizi redio Tumekosa tu kuungamanika Na kile ambacho kinaendelea Kwa sababu hatuja jiungamanisha na ile channel ya Bwana Kujua ni nini mpangi ni nini muundo We are so blessed. Tumebarikiwa sana. We have a radio station. Ya kwamba tuko na radio. Ambayo inatuweka kuwa makinifu And kila wakati. Na Bwana ananena kila mara. And there's a lot of mobilization. Na kuna uhamasisho mwingi sana. Hivyo hauna sababu. We cannot afford to be lukewarm. Hatuwezi jimudu kuwa vuguvugu sio katika majira haya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Inabidi tuinuke. Biblia inasema Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Timotheo wa pili sura ya tatu Wacha tupitie zile sifa za hii kanisa vuguvugu. Chapter 1 verse 16 The Bible says they profess to know God but in works they deny him they are being abominable disobedient and disqualified for every good work Kitabu cha Tito sura ya kwanza mstari wa, wa 16 wanadai kumjua Mungu wanadai kumjua Mungu lakini kwa matendo yao watu ni chukizo wasiotii wasiofaa kwa jambo lolote Haleluya Haleluya 
Je, utasema ya kuruka lakini jambo li, wakati mwingine uko katika dhambi ya, ya usharati ba, baada hiyo unadanganya watu the next thing you have you the Lord help us these people they will tell you watu hao watakwambia tafadhali give me 10000 ni, ni kope 10000 nitakurudishia kesho ile ile dakika ambayo utatoa tu hiyo pesa useme tu hiyo ni sadaka ili kwamba usiumizwe moyo na wamepanga uongo ya kwamba ikusababishe uamini unajua unajua kuna unajua kuna kitu inabidi nilipia haraka lakini ile hundi yangu haijakuwa tayari ndio tuko pamoja kanisa ambapo hata watu watu wengine waliacha huduma kwa sababu walidanganywa walidanganywa na mtu ambao walimwamini walimwamini nao hiyo pesa ikapotea wameenda hata kiasi ya kwamba wanafanya hiyo sarakasi kwa wajane wa Bwana wanasema wanamjua Bwana lakini kwa matendo yao wanamkana njia bora zaidi ya kupoteza wabuduo katika madhabahu una but why do you ask and you lie that you will pay you will cope to say me to be saidia na hii pesa wanaitisha pesa na hiyo ndio mwisho afadhali useme nisaidie tu bwana yesu asifiwe sana sema tu nisaidie but if you get to that unajua that you need sasa you are in a fix you don't know whether the person is telling the truth or not lakini wakati mwingine unajua uko katika ile hali ya kutojua hauelewi kwamba huyu mtu anasema ukweli ama ni uongo this one ukipeana i mean i said now i'll be giving you like an offering i say lord this is an offering to you na unajiambia kwamba bwana hii ni sadaka kwako if it doesn't come i give you an offering ikiwa itarudi nitakushukuru isiporudi nitasema hiyo ni sadaka kwako kama sio hivyo utakwasika kisawasawa kama sio hivyo utakwasika kisawasawa kwa sababu wanakuja na uongo unaona hiyo kanisa vuguvugu jinsi inavyojiendeza inaharibu tu jina la bwana na hawana mipaka hata wataenda kukopa pesa kwa watu mataifa hata wameharibu jina ya huduma watu hawa huwa hawalipi deni wacha ndio yako iwe ndio na la iwe la usiende kwa watu ambao nipe hii nitaregesha nilikuwa nasubiri mtu walikuwa naleta pesa yangu lakini wamechelewa na kuna mtu anafaa kwenda kufanyiwa upasuaji sahihi tafadhali nisaidie na hii pesa nikimbia hospitali nitakule na nitakuletea pesa yako kwa wakati kama huu kesho unapopeana hiyo pesa sahau umetoa ume sadaka wanadai kumjua Mungu lakini kwa matendo yake yao wanamkana Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Usiwahi fanya hivyo. Ikiwa wewe ni aina hiyo tafadhali leo tubu mbele za Bwana. Kwa sababu nimeona watu ambao wameumiza wengi sana. Mtu alikuamini. Alikupa pesa yake. Na kwa sababu ya, ya kutokuwa mwaminifu. Biashara ya mtu huyo iliharibika uliharibu ulikosea hiyo jamii yote haukuwahi kusimama na neno lako 
know. Let us now go to Second Timothy. Now how this is what the whole church behaves. But know this, that in the last days perilous times will come. Perilous. Sikus Zashida. Men will be lovers of themselves. Men lovers of themselves, lovers of money, posters, proud. And you know, I, 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 I have always wondered why, when you boast, you are proud, isn't it? But the Lord is repeating those words. Kumanisha, iya kiburi itakuwa ni ito ito bi something, eh? To be an issue during these last days, they will be blasphemous. Blasphemous, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderous, without self control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, one of those traitors, headstrong, haunting, haunting now is also another word for proud. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness. Now repeating again Titus chapter 1 verse 16. Having a form of godliness but denying its power. From such to turn, turn away. For of this sort are those who creep into the household and make captives of valuable women loaded down with sin led away by various lusts, always loving and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Kitabu cha Timotheo wa pili, sura ya tatu kwanzea mstari wa kwanza Biblia inasema, lakini ya kupasa ufahamu jambo hili, kwamba siku za mwisho kutakuwa na nyakati za hatari, kwa maana watu watakuwa wenye kujipenda wenyewe, wenye kupenda fedha, wenye kujisifu, wenye kiburi, wenye kufuru mungu, wasioti wazazi wao, wasio na shukrani, wasio watakatifu, wasio na upendo, wasiopenda kupatanishwa, wasingiziaji, wasio zuia tamazao, wakatili, wasiopenda mema, wasaliti, wakaidi, waliojaa majivuno, wapendao anasa zaidi kuliko kumpenda mungu, wakiwa na mfano wa utawua kwa nje, lakini wakizikana nguvu za mungu. Yepushe na watu na mna hiyo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Wakiwa na mfano wa utawua, lakini wakikana nguvu zake. Watu wa toba mmeitwa mwe wenye hekima na buwana Wisdom comes from the Holy Spirit Hekima hutoka kwa roa mtakatifu Tuwekeni ujinga Haleluya Tuwekeni ujinga kando Allow me to address this one now Tuweke ujinga kando Mungu wa metuita kukua werevu Anasema mkue werevu kama nyoka na mkue sabtu Sabtu like snakes Lakini mkue na unyenyekevu kama jiwa Hallelujah You must work hard and earn a living for yourself God has not called you to be a beggar God is calling each one of us to work and this is very clear. If you don't work, don't do what? Usikule. Wana sivye sana. Na ukiona wenye wamefanya kazi wakatoa jashilao, jasholao. Wakati wana amewabariki. Usuone wivu. Wanzi kwekia. Ah, wana wane. So and so. Hallelujah. You must work hard. Watch a story za kukaa tu haufanyi kazi. Utakuwa maskini. Maskini unakuja kama ufanyi kazi. Lakini ukiinuka uwanza kufanya kazi. Utafukuza ufukara. Can I talk to you people? Wanaezo asifiwe. The fact that you are born again does not make you stupid. The Lord wants to bless the work of our hands. Wana asifiwe sana. Kama ufanyi kazi mwana tabariki nini ndani yako. 
Nuka waza kufanya kazi Wana sipe sana Tafuta kitu ya kufanya Agia mwana akupatie an idea Let the Lord give you some idea You go and work on that idea And the Lord will bless it Wana sipe sana I was talking to another sister She was telling me Hey, I'm going to nambia Mimi mdikuwa Mdikuwa Ufukara ulikuwa umenizingira Watu walikuwa na niona wana nichoroka Kwa sababu walijua naja kuwaomba Something Haka nambia hiu kitu kwa msumbua sana Haka nambia mungu nipatia Idea nini nitafanya Jo bariki kazi ya mikono yangu Na buwana haka mpatia Idea Haka sama nikaenda Nikaanza kufanya hiu Idea na nikiombea Akanambia siku hizi Nimenunua shamba Nimejenga kwa hiyo shamba Watu sasa mimi ndiyo na wasaidia Wanaiso asifuwe sana Tuko katika hiyo hali shetani ya nakueka Hapo siyo pari pako Uinuke Ambia mwana no Nituwe katika hii hali Asa kufanya something Start doing something Somebody Hallelujah Tunafanya something tukigojea Yesu arudi Tukikuja kwa madabau Tunafanya kazi ya buwana Tunafagia madabau ya buwana Tunafanya, tunafanya Tunachoka hapo Tunaendo, tunaweka biyashara hapa Ilianza na tomato ya shiringi tano Buwana asifiwe Yo shiringi tano ikazaa ikawa sita Siku ya kwanza Siku ya pili buwana kaibariki Ikawa 12 shillings Ikaendelea hivu, ikaendelea hivu small beginnings kama kuna kitu na chukia ni uvivu nilijua uvivu jio mwanzo wa nini ufukara kapisa kulala mpaka uwe ni mama umelala mpaka saatano amuka amuka hallelujah amuka kama mama mama alipewa hekima Mzee wako umekua kuna wengine mkuna wazee wako Tukwa tukwa pesa yiku You don't know how to take their money Take that money Tukwa yu pesa Asa kusave Hallelujah Asa kusave Siku moja start something Work on it Wana siku sana Raise the name of the Lord we are waiting for the coming of the Messiah, but to wait for the Messiah is time. Because of Ukika Ivo, we don't have a car. We don't want to kiss you everywhere you go. We don't want to come and cast. Am I talking to somebody? When I say, if you're a son, this is somebody my star. This is my star. I'm not saying we cannot borrow, even here I borrow. Hallelujah. But I borrow with blood. Can we talk church? Keep the name of the Lord high up. Be the good Christian. Be delivered by the blood of Jesus. Bolewa kwa damu ya Yesu. Kumbolewa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana sifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu sifiwe. Kwa mtu muombe pesa, wambia hana. Chukua hana, mungu wa kukupangia upewe na uyo mtu dhati. Kumbolewa. Na usema ya Santi Yesu Nijutumia macho yangu Nisaidia nitumia macho yako sasa Wana isu wa sivyo sana Mutamani Wana wangu kuchoko one level of glory to another When you use these hands my friend They will do wonders These hands are blessed Wana isu wa sivyo sana They are blessed Hizi mikono zimebarikiwa lakini watu wa dunia wana ujuzi kuliko watu wa Mungu. Na watu wa Mungu ndio wana roho wa Bwana. Kwa hiyo Bwana zimuulize awafundishe. Praise the name of the Lord. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Muulize roho wa Bwana kusaidia. Unajua mimi hata nashangaa. Watu wa dunia kuna wakati watu waliuza everything and Jesus is coming. Nobody knows the day, nobody knows the hour. Keep on waiting. For him, hallelujah. Akija leo, hallelujah. Niko tayari, nenda. Akija two years from then. You are still waiting for Jesus. Don't ask him. Yeah, be smart. Be smart. Wakati njia za 
my first job, I always share this test. Nilianza na karumu kamoja. Mimi ya was a UT. Nilianza na karumu UT ni nini? I'm a trained teacher. So mishara wa I'm a trained teacher. Aunge fikata ya fumoja. It was 820 to be specific. Praise the name of the Lord. But in the jipanga, kare karumu tumepewa to staff houses. It is just one box. Iko na kitanda, iko na stove, iko na kiti moja. Wana zifu. Na ukija utakesi kwa kitanda changi. Ile safari mwende. Spring. Kati nili jipanga. Hallelujah. Nili pimangu yangu kulingana na saisi yangu. I never borrowed in a book. No, get you know, get it to your mini. La Patamuja, I was sleepless. When I say, let's not play Hallelujah. Yes, look for something, do something. Be that church. Then you may have a better as you Hallelujah. But I'm saying be there also for others. These last days people are going through storms of every kind. Maybe a family is sick, they have spent all the money. We have to stand with one another. Hallelujah. So women, when you are strong, you are okay, you are healthy, you have to be there to stand for your brother who has passed through those storms, the sickness and afflictions. Be there. We need pillars in the house of the Lord. What are we going to do? You must work. Hallelujah. Fanyani kazi. Mukiyogopa mungu. Na, na ufanye kazi kwa njia ambayo siya ya huizi eh? usiende kuiba kwa bank utukushu mbalise mara zina kina mmoja akena mali yake uenda kubreak kwa bank utashiko utafungwa utamisi unyakuzi but do the right thing hallelujah do the right thing work hard work hard I don't think in a job I cannot do. Me, I can be anything and everything at the same time. When I was here, son, I have a person who is not a problem for me. If I have to do anything, I will go and be like them. For the sake of Christ. Hallelujah. So let us to Chanuke, Kanisa. Chanuke, me. This is a message to Fanya E. Who's Fanya E? Sasa uyudu rada uende kusumbua watu kwa sababu uwezi kufanya hiyo kazi. Wana isu asifio sana. Tuinuke kabisa. I want to help you. Uende uchemushe kredi moja ya mayai. Go around selling those eggs. You will not get the same money. You will get something to buy something else tomorrow. Even if you to answer. Hallelujah. The first time. I'm able to give a time that will excite you to serve the Lord even. And as you do that, the Lord is blessing you the more. The Lord is opening other avenues. This one are ready to put it and to put it to design something. And standing with his work, serving the Lord. University. But What am I going to do? Alienza, uosha, gari. opportunities everywhere. church. The Lord wanted somebody to hear that. Lakini pengine Bwana alitaka mtu asikie hiyo. Pale opportunity. Angalia nafasi. Pale ambapo unaweza kufanya kitu. Unafanya watu waseme, "Ah, ile kanisa ndio watu hawataki kufanya kazi, wanasema wanaongojea Yesu." Sio ati usababishe watu waseme hiyo kanisa ndio inafanya watu hawataki kufanya kazi. Yes, tunaongojea Yesu, lakini tunamngojea kimpango. Bwana azibie sana. Mm. Tunamngojea 
Kim Pango. Tell, let them see order in you. Wacha waone mpangilio ndani yako. Jina la Bwana lisifiwe. Kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo unaweza kufanya. Na nasema wakati unaenda kumkopesha mtu pesa, mwambie nisaidie tu na pesa naenda kufanya jambo fulani. Wakati mtu anakupa, wacha ajue ya kwamba nakusaidia, usifanye aelewe ya kwamba unamkopa ya kwamba utaregesha, unamkwaza. Wacha ndio yako iwe ndio na la iwe la. Kanisa vugubugu Halina hofu ya Bwana. Watasema uongo na ni sawa. Unanena uongo kila mara ukisema ninaambia Mungu anisame. Wacha tumkamuofu Mungu. Wacha tuondoke kutoka kwa uovu. Wacha tutokane na hii hii ujinga ya ya matukano. Siku waiona hizi vita katika zile makanisa nilizotoka. Kwa zile makanisa tulifundishwa kuwaheshimu watu wa Mungu. Haleluya. Siku waona watu wakipigania majina. Hiyo inakutosha tu upigane na mtu kwa sababu unataka cheo. Bwana Bwana ndiye anayeinua. Subiri kuinuliwa kwako. Subiri Bwana akuinue. Usiipate kwa kifua. Haleluya. Kumuofu Bwana. Kupigania wokovu wako. Kwa hofu na kutetemeka. Kwa sababu siku ya Bwana inakuja na hakuna jua siku wala saa. Na Bwana amepatia kanisa hili nguvu mingi sana. Kwa sababu kwenye kitabu cha Mathayo sura 28 28:28 Biblia inasema kwenye kitabu cha Mathayo sura 28 kuanzia mstari wa 18 hadi 20 Yesu akawajia na kusema, nimepewa mamlaka yote mbinguni na duniani kwa sababu hii endeni mkawafanye mataifa yote kuwa wanafunzi mkiwabatiza kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu nanyi wafundisheni kuyashika mambo yote niliyoamuru ninyi hakika mimi niko pamoja nanyi siku zote hadi mwisho wa nyakati ameahidi ameahidi ya kwamba hata waitu wacha anasema tuenende katika ulimwengu na tufanye wanafunzi hiyo ilikuwa ni amri haujapokea nguvu kwa sababu ni kwa nini unahitaji nguvu hautawahi kutoka nje ukifanya hautawahi kuenda nje kutembea watu ambao wanahitaji nguvu ni wale ambao wanaenda katika vita unajua wakati unaenda katika kutembea hakika tunakata tunakanyaga tunakanyaga nyoka na ngea haleluya haleluya So the Lord will empower you. Hivyo Bwana atakutia nguvu. Because you are going to the enemy's territory. Kwa sababu unaenda katika eneo ya adui. As long as you are seated there. Lakini ili mradi umekaa tu pale, upako haukuji hivyo. You need the power of the Holy Spirit. Unahitaji nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu. You need the Lord to empower you. Unahitaji Bwana akutie nguvu. Unahitaji hekima ya Bwana. Unapotoka nje kufanya uinjilisti. Bwana atakutia nguvu. Na roho wake mtakatifu. Kitabu cha Yeremia 29:11 Biblia inasema. For I know the plans that I have for you. 
plans of welfare to establish you. Jeremiah 29 11. You know, commit your ways unto the Lord. The Lord has the best plans for you. Plans of welfare are not of evil. Jeremiah Sura Ishirin Natisam Bibile inasema Kwa maana ninajua mipango nilionayo kwa ajili yenu Asema buwana Ni mpango ya kuafanikisha Na wala siya kuwadhuru Ni mpango ya kuwapa tumaini katika siku zijazo Hallelujah I want to be the Philadelphia Church Ninataka kuwa kanisa la Philadelphia The church the Lord so much loves Kanisa ambayo buwana anapenda sana Anajali sana kuhusu ilo kanisa Don't worry about tomorrow I take care of the sparrows. Nina shugulikia ndege. Nina shugulikia ndege. Nina wavisha. Nina wavisha. Nina walisha. I dress them with the best garments. Nina wavika mavazi bora zaidi. And they are worried about tomorrow. Na wao hata washugulishwi kuhusu kesho. Are you of value to the Lord? Basi itakuwa itakuwa zaidi gani wewe wewe ulie umbo kwa mfano na umbo wake weka tumaini lako kwa bwana haleluya weka tumaini lako kwa bwana weka maisha yako kwa mkono wa bwana atakushughulikia hivyo hii kanisa bwana anaziweka moja mbadala nyingine kwenye kitabu cha Mathayo sura ya saba kwanzia mstari wa 13 kuongea kuhusu kanisa mbili kanisa la Philadelphia Mathayo sura ya tano mstari wa 13 na anasema ingieni kupita Many will go in by it, but because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are very few who will find it. Kitabu cha Mathayo sura ya saba mstari wa 13 Biblia inasema ingieni kupitia mlango mwembamba kwa maana lango ni pana na njia ni pana ielekeayo upotevuni nao ni wengi waingiao kwa kupitia lango hilo lakini mlango ni mwembamba na njia ni finyu ile lakini mlango ni mwembamba na njia ni finyu ielekeayo kwenye uzima nao ni wachache tu waio nao Haleluya hivyo kuna njia mbili kuna njia ya Philadelphia hiyo njia ambayo ni na jinsi ambavyo tunakaribia unyakuzi hiyo njia inafanyika kuwa finyu na finyu zaidi Bwana so we can bear his image and likeness. Bwana anatupeleka kutoka kwa kiwango kimoja cha utukufu hadi kingine ili kwamba tuweze ku, ku, kuvaa umbo wake. Creating an image between us and every appearance of him. Akiweka uadui Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. Akiweka uadui kati yetu na chochote kiovu kwenye kitabu cha mwanzo sura ya tatu mstari wa 15. Haleluya kanisa. Hivyo leo. Chaguo ni lako. Kila mara Mungu uwekea mwanadamu na anasema leo. Ninaleta mbele zako. Uzima na mauti. Lakini anasema je, itabidi ukufe? Kitabu cha Ezekieli 33 mstari wa 11. Anasema apendezwe na kifo cha mwenye dhambi. Haleluya. So is there before every one of us today? Ivo anaweka mbele zetu kila mmoja wetu. Na anasema chagua maisha na uishi. Ni kwa nini ufe ewe mwanadamu? The Messiah is coming. Masihi yuaja. Wacha tusizohe hiyo tangazo. Haleluya. Usizoe hiyo tangazo. Kwa sababu kwa hakika. Thessalonike wa kwanza sura ya 4 mstari wa 14 hadi 18. Hiyo ambayo inanena kuhusu unyakuzi wa kanisa. Hiyo ambayo manabii wa Kusa na Bwana wamekuwa wakituangazia kila wakati. Inakuja kutimia. 
unajua jambo la kuzunisha ni kwamba hiyo hiyo mwito wa tarumbeta ikiwa hauko katika kiroho hautaweza kuisikia ngangana uingie kwa sababu njia ni finyu na njia ni iendayo katika uzima lakini ni wachache tu huipata lakini njia ni panda na njia ni pana iendayo katika uharibifu na ni wengi huenda katika njia hiyo ni njia ipi ambayo utafuata leo hii wacha tuinuke katika miguu yetu unajua kile ambacho bwana alikunenea na ninajua kwamba bwana alikuambia jambo na ni wakati sasa ukakubaliane na bwana haleluya chunguza tu moyo wako angalia tu angalia tu kile ambacho bwana ananena na ili kanisa kanisa ni wewe mwenyewe Je, Bwana alikunenea kuhusu nini? Je, uko tayari kumpokea Bwana leo? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ningependa useme haya baada yangu. Hiyo sote tunahitaji Yesu. Tunahitaji Bwana kabadilisha maisha yetu. Tunahitaji Bwana kabadilisha mioyo yetu. Akaondoe kila aina ya udanganyifu. Kila kitu ambacho si cha baba. Ya, ya kwamba ali akapande aka mbegu bora ndani yetu. Ya kwamba tukaweze kuzaa tunda lipasalo toba. Unasema Bwana Yesu naja mbele zako naja mbele zako siku ya leo siku ya leo nimetambua ya kwamba nimetambua ya kwamba mimi ni mwenye dhambi mimi ni mwenye dhambi nisamee dhambi zangu zote nisamee dhambi zangu zote na unisafishe na damu yako na unisafishe na damu yako na kupatia maisha yangu Yesu Kristo na kupatia maisha yangu Yesu Kristo niongoze na unitawale uniongoze na unitawale unitenganishe na laana zote za ukoo unitenganishe na laana zote za ukoo na ibada zote za na ibada zote za sanamu kuanzia siku ya leo kuanzia siku ya leo unijaze upya na roho wako mtakatifu unijaze upya na roho wako mtakatifu akanifundishe hekima yako akanifundishe hekima yako nami nakuahidi ya kwamba nami nakuahidi ya kwamba nitakuabudu wewe peke yake nitakuabudu wewe peke yake siku zote za maisha yangu siku zote za maisha yangu andika jina langu andika jina langu katika kitabu cha uzima wa milele katika kitabu cha uzima wa milele na uniandae kwa unyakuzi na uniandae kwa unyakuzi siku ya leo nimeokoka siku ya leo nimeokoka asante kwa kuniokoa asante kwa kuniokoa nimeomba nikiamini nimeomba nikiamini katika jina la Yesu Kristo amen katika jina la Yesu Kristo asante sana tukampigie bwana makofi